Hey, it's Laura. And uh, I was watching TV the other day and I came across this commercial. People everywhere are fighting stains with a- Oh, let's just stop right there. Um, people everywhere? Let's watch it one more time. People everywhere are fighting stains with OxyClean. Oh. The problem begins when realizing the target audience is women. The advertising industry frequently attaches gender to products used by all. From now on, let's call them people products. Kind of makes you wonder why technology, cars, and financial services are marketed to men, while body washes, cleaning supplies, and clothing are marketed to women. As if women don't drive cars and men don't shower. This gendering of OxyClean and other cleaning products is harmful to women. It is completely contrary to the fight for female equality in the home and workplace. Though ground has been made, for example, today there are professional working women, parents are expected to share their role in raising children, and housework is the responsibility of all, gendering cleaning supplies as feminine promotes archaic ideals from when men were the breadwinners and women tended to the home and raised the children. How did it go today, Joe? Oh, all right. You know, I had seven requests for time off today. Well, I guess women don't realize what it means to stick on the job. Maybe they don't. Our advertisements have not changed to reflect the shift in gender roles and therefore work against them. Ideas about laundry being women's work fill the subconscious of those witnessing these ads, even women. This ideology leads to the discrimination of women in the home and workplace who are told by the media that they belong not as the head of their corporation, but in the laundry room. The feminine gendering of people products affects men as well, though not in such a large degree. It makes these products less acceptable for men's use and challenges their masculinity. Advertisers know that hypermasculine images can help to sell historically feminized products. So then you get things like manly body wash, manly yogurt for a man. <laughs> Let's look at an example. Can you guess what this commercial's for? Diet soda. While creating masculine versions of feminine gendered products, advertising companies sell the solution to the insecurity they created. This only serves to polarize gender in the people products. So, what have we learned here today, class? <laughs> Leave a comment below telling me what you think. Can a commercial really be that harmful? Have you ever felt bound by gender stereotypes? This has been Laura Talks. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.